Welcome to Scratch Junior Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch Junior. On Scratch Junior, you can create your own stories, riddles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything in the programs that you write. Today, you're going to create something like this. Two cars on race day. And the girl won and she said, yay. We'll have to put the cars on the screen and make them smaller because when you first put them on there, they're bigger than this. And we'll have to make them race across the screen and then make the girl say something. You will need the Scratch Junior app on your iPad, Android tablet, or computer. Scratch Junior is a free download and you'll have to get it so that you can do coding with us. Launch Scratch Junior and click the home icon. Click on this plus to start a new project. You'll probably have a cat here for your first character. If you hold down on it and click the X, it'll go away, unless you want the cat to race, and that would be fine too. To change the background, you click on this landscape at the top, and that brings up the background gallery. I want my cars to race down this street, so I select the city and click the check, and I want to pick two cars. Over here is where you pick the characters that are going to be on your screen. Scratch Junior calls it sprites. So the two sprites that we're going to have are two cars. I'll find the girl and say, I want to get that. And then I'll go back in there and find the boy and then say yes I want to get that but they're way too big to be on my street so I have the boy selected if I want to shrink him down the purple blocks change how your sprite looks or how your character looks so I think shrinking down is going to be in there yeah so this one will make it shrink down by two so I'll get that block and click on it, and my car shrank down. I'll change to the girl and get the shrink block for her and click on it a couple times. Is that small enough? Let's make it even smaller. I'll select the boy and shrink him down too. And once you think that's small enough, you can get rid of your shrinking box. And you'll remember from the other lessons, when I click on the girl, this is the programming area for that character. When I click on this one, this is the programming area for him. So I want to make them race across the screen. Do you remember which color blocks are the movement blocks? It's the blue ones. So if I have a blue to the right, that makes him move to the right. I don't want to keep clicking that. I could make it repeat forever, then what happens? He just keeps going and going. If I want to make him start doing that when I hit the green flag, I'll put the green flag there and then he's racing across the screen. Let's give the red car some code. We'll give her a flag. We'll tell her to move right and to do that in a loop like forever. So there they both go. Instead of just looping forever like that, let's make them go just to the right side of the screen. So we don't want to go forever. Let's see if we change this number what happens. Let's change it to 8. And you see this is the girl's car, so that's how far she made it if she goes 8 steps. Let's put them both at the beginning. 
and see that was eight steps. Let's change her to, if I remember from the last one, I think it was 17. Does that get her all the way across? Nope, that's too much. What about 15? Okay, so 15 gets her all the way to the end. And then stop. For the boy, let's let him move across 15 steps and then stop. So we got both of the cars to move across the screen all the way to the right. What's left to do today? One of them needs to win. How can we make, the girl got to win last time, how can we make the boy go faster? These are the movement blocks. These are how something looks. It changes the way it looks. This is the sound blocks. To make the boy go faster, we can find that in one of the orange blocks. This one right here. You see the little triangle there? It's a down arrow. If you click that, you can see this makes him go slow. This is medium and this is fast. Let's put this in there. Before he moves, we're going to change his speed. Let's go to the first one. That's how fast the first one is. This is how fast the second one is. And then this is the fastest. That's what we want for him, the fastest. Let's go pick a speed for her. We'll make her go the middle one. And he won. That looks like the other video. All we need to do now is let him say something. So we click on him so we can add something for him to say. Where do you think speaking would be in our blocks? The speaking is going to give him a little bubble above his head. So it kind of, in a way, changes the way he looks. And so they put that in the looks category of blocks. And there it is right there. If I click that, he says hi. If we change it to... I won and we click it he says I won so where would we put that we're gonna just drag it into the here so we got the start on green flag and go really fast and go 15 steps to the right and then after that say I won and then you're done so if we reset them It worked. So we'll make it full screen and we'll run our program. Great race. We can change the name of it. And put a title up there if we want. That's the end of this lesson. Now it's your turn. Open the Scratch Junior app, click Home, create a new project, add a background here, add a couple of cars right here, and make your two cars race. If you want, at the end you could tell it to say I won or yay for whoever the winner is. You could put a title up here and change the name of it. 
But if you can add two cars and make them race across the screen at different speeds, then congratulations, you've mastered the third lesson. This free kids coding lesson was provided by STEM and Games. Subscribe, watch more lessons, and keep practicing, and soon you will be creating new worlds and games and making your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time.